Good for you. Randy Ostrow in Florida. You're up. Quick question and then a suggestion. Not a suggestion, but uh, I have another question, actually. Back in the day, did you photograph all of the paintings, like the ones that you sold for 40 bucks? Did you have the insight back then? Because I don't probably think we had iPhones. We Have you been able to capture everything that you've sold? In so I haven't captured everything, but I have a lot. Uh, my website, it's the kwgallery.com. I have a lot of it. I've gone through a lot of iPhones, <laughs> to say the least, since in the last six or seven years. So I don't have everything, but I could tell you every painting that I painted. And then, and I, so when you were younger and first started getting started, you're 29 now. Back yeah. then, not everybody had a, a camera phone. Is that right? When you made your first painting? No, so really I started like painting in 2018. This is all decently new. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I yeah. actually just had my five year cancer remission in March of this year. So Congratulations. I've been painting for only five years, which is another like it's been a crazy journey just through five years, just getting to where I'm at. But yeah. we had iPhones and stuff back then. And I'm sure if I look back in my Instagram archive, I could find a lot of a lot of the work that I did. And I have okay, cool. And then the second thing, it's not really a question, but do you know who Ricky Powell is, the uh photographer? That rings a bell. You got to watch his documentary. He was the guy. A lot of the stuff that you've said, I write it, down. it reminds me very much of his approach. He was the photographer that traveled around with the Beastie Boys and Run DMC. And they oh, okay. made a documentary about his life and how yeah. the art, it just kind of came out of nowhere. One day he grabbed a camera from someone and was like, click. Yeah. And when he heard, when he felt that click, it was over. So yeah. His story is different, but there was a documentary. I forget what it's called, but they called him the Rickster. And he became awesome. very famous, but I think you would like it very much. And I uh, love what I, you're doing, Kyle. I need to I need to see that. If you enjoyed that one, you should watch uh, Mr. Br uh, Exit Through the Gift Shop. Okay, I'm writing it down. Which is, which is a really good documentary about Mr. Brainwash and, you know, just how he was originally... Be, they're the videographer of all these street artists and then they all convinced him to be an artist and he like he's so famous now but he like almost takes like Banksy's work and he's the first one to ever film Banksy he almost takes Banksy's work and Shepard Fairey's work and a bunch of all of these artists work that he was like best friends with and like does his own show in LA makes like a million dollars sh first show ever and just has been an artist ever since the, and by the way, and, I, and I'll shut up, but I just want to say one last thing. Keep when going. you mentioned Andy Warhol and Basquiat, he, yeah. this guy became famous. Be, he got recognized, I should say, because one day the two of them were walking down the street in Soho, walking to a gallery, and he ran up on them and got a picture. And that picture kind of put him on the map. So if you look him up, Ricky Powell, I think you will really enjoy the story. I'm going to look that up tonight, 100%. Thank you so much. It's great meeting you. Great to meet you. Kyle, when do you, uh, can you do some overtime? I can do as much overtime as you want. I got an hour and a half with the 20 minute drop. Oh, beautiful. Because we have a <laughs> ton of questions here. People love you. Let's rock Top and roll. roll.